everybody, here we are with a special edition of the Empire CV TV here uh, to talk to our special guest, uh, Dan, and uh, to talk to you about what he's doing and where he's going to be here coming up with our free comic book day event. So, hey, sir, thank you for coming down. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> so why don't you tell us what you're going to be doing down here on free comic book day? Well, um, I'll be uh, here with other artists and writers and comic book makers and local creative people, uh, but unlike them, I'll probably be, uh, I'm filling my book. <laughs> <as before. laughs> um, I, I'll be, I, for Free Comic Book Day, I'll have my first full book for my webcomic, Long John, which is a, a western about a cowboy who uh, whose clothes get stolen. Yeah, yes, we yeah. Did, uh, <laughs> uh, some of the promotional material has featured the, uh, what do they call those? The little oh yeah, the, the butt flap. The butt flap, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's aptly named. Uh, right. So uh, tell us just a little bit about it. Uh, well, Long John, the premise is Long John is kind of the most uh, feared gunslinger in the West, specifically kind of the California region. I wanted it to be a California-based comic. And um, he's, he's a known bounty hunter, and he travels with his group, uh, his posse, if you will, who are also called the Johns, which they're all, they're all the name John. Okay. And uh, Are there different, there's Long John? There's Long John, there's, there's, Little there's, John? A, there's Juan John. Juan actually. John, okay, nice. And then there's uh, Johnny Mono because he, he's a Native American, and mm -hmm. he's from the Mono tribe, and like, well, his name isn't John, but he needs to match the... Uh, well, he's got to fit in. Exactly. But, uh, and they're kind of known as, as the crew that goes around and, and collects bounties, and they're, they're, they're cool, you know? <laughs> but, but one day, and this is where the comic starts, is uh, he wakes up next to a lake, and, and his friends are gone, his weapons are gone, and his clothes are gone. And all he knows is that he, one half of his face is covered in blood, and he's like, what happened? And, and that's where it picks up. That's now, where it starts. Yeah. Right now it's a webcomic. Right. Which right. we can find where? At longjohncomic.com. Longjohncomic.com. Okay, right. perfect. And what's uh, you're putting those out what? Um, I'm putting them out about a couple pages every two weeks or so. I'm updating it in, in sort of multi-page chunks because mm -hmm. that's how people were reading it anyway. Um, but uh, what, what's nice is that I get to update it a kind of a, as a, a scene at a time. So you, when you come to the website, um, you actually get a story chunk. Whereas, okay, nice. you know, since it's a story-based comic, it's not like you every page is a a self-contained or joke kind of thing like a like a comic strip would be. So I want people when they come here to be able to read through a couple pages and feel like, oh, we moved forward. And um, again, I, I chose that method because I was originally updating twice a week, but uh, you know people were just waiting a month and then reading everything and then getting a big chunk of it at once. Right, right. So uh, I'm like, oh, this. And since uh, with my day job uh, going strong as well. I need to balance my time. And yeah, that so gets I can, in the way of it. Right. everything. Crazy. I know, really. Uh, so <laughs> well, because we need money. I know. <laughs> uh, so this art style, a lot of you might know Dan from his work on Ebon 07, right. which we have on the local shelf. You've seen him at cons around town. Um, the style on this You're is really completely terrible. different. Right, right. Uh, much more uh, sort of sketchy in a sense. I, I, with Ebon 07, I was really drawing on my animation background. Mm -hmm. I was a really bad animator and that style really <laughs> stuck with me. That's and why I, you went to comics? Right, right. I, and I wanted I wanted for Evan 07 a really clean style because the idea was kind of I wanted to look like an animated show. One of the hopes that one day maybe someone would go like, we should make that into a cartoon. I'm like, it's halfway done. Right? That's but uh, this one I, I, I was much more influenced by uh, comics, to be perfectly honest. Whereas Evan 07 was very animation based. This one is, is the years of me reading not only you know the comics I love now, but comics from the American comics, but European comics and Japanese comics, and kind of picking and choosing and developing my style. I can I can really see the some European right. Stuff I remember you're there. making when I was buying a bunch of like Enki Bilal and 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 sort of humanoid stuff. Mm -hmm. You're like, what's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> it was but, the beginning, right? And that stuff is just is is wonderful because it's really stark, and that's what this comic needs to be. I want it to be. Um, not over rendered, so to speak. I don't need it to be hyper realistic. One, because a lot of Western comics look that way anyway. Like not Western comics, like I mean, but comics about cowboys and Indians stuff like that. It tends to be really realistic. Mm -hmm. And uh, one, I'm not that patient. Okay. <laughs> and two, I, I, I'm kind of like, how do I make this Western stand out? How can I make? Because who wants to read a Western? That's kind of my going in. But that doesn't have zombies or robots in it. You know, it, I was just thinking that as you were talking about right. this. There, it, it's. There's not a lot out there, which is actually pretty good. I mean, for yeah. anyone who's looking for it, outside of Lone Ranger, <laughs> right, there, right. there really isn't much out there. Right. And I mean, yeah, Jonah Hex used to be, but an all-star yeah. western isn't really as straight western as... as uh, no, especially since he spent a bunch of time in Gotham. Right, right. <laughs> but that, that's 
not another topic. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> so no, I mean, this is something where a lot of people, uh, this, it's an untapped market out there. Right. And this could uh, potentially be something really neat. Yeah, I mean, the response has been really strong. And uh, what I like is that a lot of people are responding to it on, on even more than just like the entertainment level. Because with on the website, with each page that I post, mm -hmm. I, I tend to write up a lot of notes. Not necessarily okay. explaining anything, but I want to talk about the writing process. I want to talk about uh, just sort of the influences that are maybe coming through on that page artistically That's or something. So like they that. get a little, it's, a, it's like the director's cut right, on the right. web. Comes. So I like to put a lot of, thought, uh, of, of content out there so that people can kind of see how much thought is going into a silly comic about a cowboy who gets his clothes stolen and that they can actually get more out of it that way. And people have been really responding to that, and that makes me happy. <laughs> well, that's good. So uh, one more time, where can they find you online? They can find me at longjohncomic.com, all one word. Okay. And, uh, yeah, uh, you can, the, I think the best thing to, to do if you want to follow it is to subscribe to the RSS feed, join the Facebook page, or, uh, or follow me on Twitter, I guess, at, at dbethel. And uh, that will send it, send it right to your Twitter feed or right to your email. Uh, that's perfect. Whenever you can updates. keep up with it, and you can get more info about him coming down to Free Comic Book Day and what he's going to have available there. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming, no sir. Problem. Thank you. And we'll see you uh, in May. Absolutely. I'll, I'll be sure here. I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs>